Hi everyone, Stefano Pasha here. Today I'm thrilled to introduce the next chapter in our Intime Legato series, the Intime Legato Violin. It's a solo violin library featuring a beautiful natural sounding legato performed by virtuoso violinist Peter Young, and as with the cello it really shines with slow emotional melodic lines. For us it was the natural next step after the cello, so we went back to the beautiful Nave studio and recorded it with a variety of microphone positions to capture every nuance of the instrument and studio. One feature that we introduced with the cello and we think is a game changer is the Rebo key switch, which you can press midway through a note to create a natural sounding Rebo. This is so helpful as sometimes we have some melodic lines in mind that to be fully expressed in a convincing way require a new solution, like this key switch, which is incredibly simple but incredibly effective and will help shaping the rhythm of your melodies more naturally. Moving on to the interface, you can find two sliders that control the tightness and the intensity of the legato transition, and they can be mapped to your MIDI controller so you can move them midway for performance. They are in the legato section, you can see intensity and speed, and uh, when the speed is set to low, you can hear more portamento, while when it's set to high, uh, the transitions are tighter, so uh, it's more useful when you want to play something more agile. Out of the box, the violin speed is set to low, and that's the one you heard so far. And then we can try to set it a bit higher. Personally, I will go around mid speed a bit half. Of course, when it's set too high, you lose a bit the nice transition between the notes, but it can be helpful if you want to play something a bit faster or agile. Then, focusing on the intensity slider, when it's set too low, the transition between the notes is more prominent, while when it's set too high, it's smoother. So let's set it, put it down to low, and let's hear it. beautiful sound. And then let's put it high. In my opinion, the settings that come out of the box are incredibly good and I will use them 90-90% of the time. But if you want to play something a bit more agile or if you, want, if you want less portamento, you know, you can do that. So now, moving on, we can focus on the microphone positions. If you look at the interface, you can see there's a microphone. Clicking it will take us to a new section where we can see all the microphone positions. So close, stereo, mid and far. And with the proximity slider, we can control them all at once. But you can also solo them or mute them as you like. So for example, if we listen to um, solo mid. And then uh, we try fire, for example. The library focuses on the legato, but there's also a sustain option which can be activated by clicking on the switch under the legato section here, which will turn it off.
So this is a really great bonus to have, as sustains can be so helpful when we want to write something quickly and maybe we don't have time to write three different parts, so you can do that at the same time. This library, as you could hear, sounds really beautiful and realistic, both in the high range and in the low range. And I personally love the low range a lot. And it's as with the cello, it really focuses on this slow cinematic um, melodic writing. And when you combine them, something really nice happens. See, this is the great thing about these two libraries recorded in the same space with the same sony direction. They just mix so incredibly well together. It wouldn't be a sonic cinema library if it didn't come with snapshots, which are preset made by us that can kickstart new ideas, spark your inspiration, or achieve a sound more quickly. So there are a staggering 18 of them. You can see them here. You just need to press on the arrow. And so let's listen to a few of them. The first one is Legato Far Slow. And we can see from the interface that uh, the mic position is just mid and far and uh, there's uh, the reverb and you know they can all be tweaked from the inside there's nothing external then moving on we have I think my favorite it's called a legato huge space <laughs> The next one is called Aggressive, and it's also one of my favorites, and it, you can play in a more aggressive style and also a, a bit faster as well. Really, really nice, modern and edgy, completely different from what we heard before with the huge space. And this is the power of the presets or these snapshots. They are incredibly useful to kickstart new ideas. We also have snapshots for sustains, and this is called Far Away. You can hear the tail and all the effect and the processed sound, really nice. And as an experiment for the last one, I combined the far away with a huge uh, space, which was my favorite. So let's, let's listen how the sound combined together. Wow, I love the huge space is very, feels close but with reverb and the sound is mostly clean and the far away has this nice filtered effect and combined they really add a unique texture to the sound.
This was Intima Legato Violin, which has become my go-to for when I want to write slow, emotional, melodic lines. It sounds beautiful both high and low, and it's just a pleasure to play. You can hear more of it on our website, there are lots of demos, and there's also another video, a contextual one, where I break down the track I wrote for the trailer, it's the full version, and you can hear the violin more in an orchestral setting. Also, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and Instagram if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you in the next one.